Lucas Media, shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. Uh, salute to uh, General 78. I was watching his video about Carissa Shields and Ryan Garcia. I ended up watching the video. Um, Ryan was, what, in the Twitter chat room or whatever. Carissa joins on. He starts joking about having a baby with her. And, you know, she talks about how she's been engaged for two years, which that's a whole nother subject that I can make a separate video on. Um, it don't take two years, but whatever, right? So, on there, you know, Ryan starts going in on Devin Haney, talking about Devin Haney will never be the same, and uh, he don't know how he tested positive for Osterine. And here's the disturbing part, right? Carissa don't stand on business. She was going in when she wasn't around Ryan, but now she talking about, oh, well, I'm cool with you, and I'm cool with Devin, and and you know. Uh, what's going to happen with the other results? How long that take? See, look, Ryan don't care. Ryan has brainwashed so many people. It's so bad, right? That you hear it, people in my comment section, every time I talk about this says, well, he only had a little bit in his system. Number one, I don't care if he had a fraction of a fraction of a fraction. The New York State Athletic Commission, that can't happen. You're not supposed to have any of that in the state of New York. That's why his butt wasn't trying to fight. Oh, almost cussed. That's why he wasn't trying to fight in New York. Because other states are, are less strict. And then even like with the IVs in the system, with him smoking weed, trying to trying to mask things. Like, wh why won't y'all admit that Ryan got caught? There's only, I watched Dante's Boxing Nation too. And he said something that I got to remind. There's really only two people you've seen that people get defended. Canelo and Ryan Garcia. Why is that? Anybody else, Connor Ben, you guilt tripped them. Alicia Bumgarner, you guilt tripped her. Uh, Shane Mosley back in the day, you guilt tripped him. Uh, Big Baby Miller, Big Baby Miller almost got completely canceled. He got shamed when he popped dirty. Not once, but twice. It might have been three times, but I know for a fact it was at least twice he popped dirty. You know, oh, get Big Baby out of here. But when Ryan Garcia pops dirty, y'all try to justify it. Oh, he still was going to beat uh, Devin Haney. Well, Devin Haney still lost because y'all like him so much that he can't do no wrong for y'all. And he's spilling this. See, Ryan, actually, he's he's very intelligent, you know, and it, it, it didn't got that bad, honestly. But let again, let it be one drop in Devin Haney's uh, blood and would nobody say anything. You wouldn't hear nothing. You would hear him say, well, I don't care if it was a fraction, man. He cheated me. He cheated. And they would have been removed that record. That win. But I'm glad Devin Haney's suing. I'm glad he didn't lawyer it up. And I hope the New York State Athletic Commission do the right thing and remove that, that win. Uh, they're going to test the B-Simple again in a couple more days. I guarantee you that B-Simple going to come back uh, positive. And Ryan and his parents, you can tell they're already trying to get ahead of it. And instead of them directly answering a question, they're all, well, he's a kid and we don't know where it came from. And, well, you have to explain, you have to prove to the, the athletic commission and to the fans how it's done. And think about it. Most, a lot of the boxing, a lot of the former fighters, they're talking about it. They're going in on Ryan. It's really the Ryan Garcia fans who you don't even hear about, who you never really heard about until this Devin Haney fight. That's on here going in. And look, prior to Ryan testing positive for, for PEDs, I ate my crow on here. Y'all saw me uh, on here eating crow, but I'm sorry. It's on Ryan. Ryan has got caught until he proves that he's innocent. He needs to prove that. Don't come on here talking about it's a conspiracy. They out to get me and Devin Haney, I'll refight you. No, 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 no. All you got to do is prove why that came from where, where you got it and why'd you have it in your system you know don't don't come on here with no excuses and crying and and you know because guess what the fans ain't gonna be able to save you if, you if you get a one to two year ban and again one more thing about about clarissa you notice that she went in on on, on bum garner but ryan got caught doing the same thing you know that was disappointing to see especially when you've seen clarissa throw brothers black men under the bus i've seen it happen i've seen it happen online i forget what brother once one time he defended her and she went at him 
Chris, if you're going to get on there, stay on code. Why won't nobody stay on code when it comes to stuff like us? But you see, they staying on code. Canelo staying on code when it comes to Ryan Garcia. All his fans staying on. It's, it's sad, man. It's sad. Uh, I agree with General Boxing has become the WWE. This is why they are no longer the premier sport. It's really only a bunch of uh, super diehard fans like myself and some of y'all. And then you get casual boxing fans who don't know. They don't even know it's a 12 round fight, but they going to watch it because Ryan Garcia. They don't know who they don't know. None of the belts, nothing. None of the four, none of the alphabet belts, none of that. And and th this is why the sports go is what it is. Honestly, you know, people need to if everybody would have stayed on cold, whatever, man, y'all, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.